Hello there and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2! I'm Lazy Bones. And <laughs> I was laughing so hard at this uh, uh, before recording. Just <laughs> look at so veiny and ew, look at this. It's look familiar. Gross! Oh, <laughs> that's disgusting. Yeah, if you're thinking what I was thinking, we have dirty minds. Dirty, dirty minds. You, old man lazy bones, are a terrible influence on me. <sighs> anyway. Now that we're done thinking about those things. Ew, gross. <laughs> we're uh, about to get off this island. I can't believe it. We're finally free. It took us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I remember on episode, I don't know, like two or three, maybe four, that I said that we would get off this island on the next episode. Fast forward 30 plus episodes later. Uh, episode 41. Yes. <laughs> now we're off the island. Almost. Uh, hopefully she doesn't pull some trickery on me and sends me to a dungeon or something. <sighs> but yeah, let's talk to her. Oh, actually, first of all, we did find... Oh, not this. Some treasure. There's this sweet, sweet loot right here. That has... I just want to show you really quickly. It's... Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. Look at all this loot. Uh, <laughs> that market guy. He died. Sadly, he's sadly he died. And he left us all that sweet, sweet stuff. But uh, we got this stuff in that treasure chest. And it requires level 2 lore master. So I'm gonna have to find a guy to identify that with, because uh, Loosh is a level one lore master. And we found this. Wait, wait a minute. Which inventory was it in? Uh, uh, wait, no. Oh wait, we do have it equipped. Do we? I think this is it. This thing is amazing. Look at this thing. Anyway, I am, like, geeking out <laughs> over, like, the gear. Yes, give me the gear! Gross! Anyway, let's talk to her. Uh, what's her name again? Malady. Omar. Oh, oh my. Oh, my goodness. Um, he's, like, the, she's so much taller than him. He's, like, that little, little guy that's, like, too tanned and into this super tall lady. Um, baby. Wait. No, no. <laughs> no, not you. <gasps> Non-avatar. Please bring me the leader of your... Oh, bring me the leader of the game. Haha. -ha. I am the leader. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try an accent, okay? I'm gonna try an accent. Well, I mean, you're probably not here. Let's go. Oh, that was terrible. Meister, uh, wait, board the boat. <gasps> board the boat. Melody grabs the vessel with two hands and pushes it into the water. She hops on board behind you. <gasps> oh. Godwoken, wait till she finds out. Salty water mists your face. Your skin prickles in the bright, warm sunlight. A turn, yes, I needed one. The boat bobs forward through the water. Fort Joy shrinks behind you. <gasps> and, and once and for all, oh, boop, shut up. Tired, but victorious. The party makes for Lady Vengeance. The horrors of Fort Joy behind them. They arrived as sorcerers. They leave as God Woken. The fate of this godforsaken world now rests on their shoulders. Or at least, on the shoulders of one of them. <gasps> oh my gosh. <sighs> Good welcome. Oh, I can't do accents. It's left on the shoulders of one of them. Good welcome. <gasps> what about again? Ooh. Dead bodies. Narrator, a light sea breeze kisses your cheek and carries away the smell of blood wafting up from the deck in the distance, for joy looms. 
Look at all these poor saps. They should have just let us go. I'll be damned if I ever step foot on that island again. Don't care who I have to bury. From what I've noticed, Loosh is like a kidder. She, she makes jokes a lot. From my brief interactions with her. So I think she's a little lighthearted. So I think she might say this? I'll be damned if I ever step foot on that island again. Don't care who I have to bury. Oh, yep. Oh, uh, simple. We left a lot of corpses in our wake. Perhaps too many. Oh, no, no, never enough. A hard fought freedom, sure. But if spilling blood is bad, it shouldn't be so agreeable. Definitely, she would say this. Yes, it definitely wouldn't be so agreeable. Hmm. We're liberated, like the blood of a lot of magisters. Maybe too many. Maybe. I have no sympathy for those who die in the line of duty, especially as odious as oh, a duty as those dead magisters held. Oh man, I got hope oh, the Red Prince is here. I'll be really upset. I think this may be him. No, it's not. <clears throat> My whole group hates the Magisters, so... I have no sympathy for him, at least. I still don't... Maybe I should give him like a surfer guy accent. I have no, no sympathy, you know? Hmm, I wonder if the order meant to sacrifice... Wait, what? I wonder if the order meant to sacrifice so many of their own just to keep us imprisoned. Freedom feels even better than I imagined. I won't give it up again. I will never give it up again. Onward now. The sooner Fort Joy disappears from the horizon, the better. Perhaps the Seekers need help manning the ship. <gasps> oh, Old Man Lisa Bones has taken Harbor Key from Ifen Bin Mezd using magic pockets. Can I like? I want, uh, 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 wait a minute! Wait a minute! Yeah, I took a screenshot. I'm gonna try to practice some of my thumbnail action stuff for the videos. Customize them a little bit more. But in the meantime, let's check the sweet bodies. Uh, yes. Oh, oh. Earth essence. I'll take that gold. This is amazing. I can't believe it. We're finally off that island. Yes. Oh, I hope there's a market. Uh, uh, a merchant. I keep saying market. A marketeer, but it's merchant. I hope I can carry all this stuff. Nope. I don't want any of your gizzards. Well, they had some battle here. Never mind, gross. Oh, look at this ballista. Oh, it's the, the elf guy. I don't think I ever showed that interaction. Sodden Diary. Did I check your... Oh. Huh? guess not. Broom. You know what sucks about not having the Red Prince? I found some buried treasure, like two or three of them, and I couldn't find any shovels to buy to get them either. Whoa! Wow, you accessed that from super far away. Wow. Oh! Whoa, look at this thing. Dragons. Oh, that's so cool. Blessings to our father. I pray that they may find it. May Eve. Oh, it's the lady. Wait, what? She's bald. No, no judging here, Art. I like her. <laughs> Don't 
go any further, God Loki. We need you alive. Ask what's going on. Tell her to stand aside. You go where you please. Take your leave. Um, what's going on? The ship won't sail. We had orders, leave. To search every corner of it. And figure out what's blocking us. It's hewn from Elven li Livewood. I thought I could communicate with it, but... She glances, oh, glance, glances over towards a smoldering pile of ash on the deck nearby. Something is nestled within it. Fragments of scorched bones. That was Brandon. When the ship wouldn't answer my call, he touched the forehead and it attacked him without warning. He burned like he was made of parchment. Say that you'll be careful. Ask if she learned anything useful before uh, the figurehead attacked. Express your condolences about her dead compatriot. Hmm. Be careful. Ask if she. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um. I'm sorry for what happened to your friend. Her eyes flick over to the smoldering ashes once again. Her head held at a despondent angle. Thank you. We were held captive together on this ship. He kept my spirits up. Now he's dead. Say that you be careful. Ask if she learned anything useful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you learned uh, anything useful before the figure had attacked? Nothing. The ship is lifewood. That much is clear, but I couldn't communicate with it. The Magisters must have done something, warped it somehow. I just don't know what. I'll be careful. Just remember what I said, God Vulcan. If you die, then this was all for nothing. Good to know. Can I use this? Oh, yes! <laughs> Let me do that again. Oh, I, you know, I, I wanted to see projectile fire. Oh, we missed the bod. We missed a bod. Hello. Oh, oh, smoke grenade. Very useful. Medium strength grit. Oh, this is all good stuff. How much space do I have left? It's not a lot. Anyone want to buy my crud? Did we ever check this guy? I think we did. Oh, man, not you. What's this? Cutting board. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh. Oh, whoa. She, uh, that was quick. Spare me, Gareth. We got what we came for. This is what success looks like. I won't see them tossed overboard. Not here. We'll hold a proper service. What's his face? And so and so would want us to get this ship sailed before all else. They died for those god woken after all. Claude and Mattis, those were their names. Gareth inhales sharply, then catches you out of the corner of his eye and smiles, barely. Our guest stirs. Welcome, Godwoke. Glad you s- ah, Glad to see you safely aboard. <laughs> ah, I keep making weird noises sometimes. I just can't help it. I can Melody. Ah. Very glad indeed. Note the number of bodies littering the deck. Ask how many were lost in the battle. By the way, I tried to uh, use the reviving scrolls on the dead seekers that helped us out. Didn't work. Just FYI. 
nod a greeting and say you are eager to set sail. How long do they plan to remain at anchor? Soldier. Say you are sorry to see so many fallen soldiers. Bid them farewell. Um, hmm. Yeah. How, uh, how many lost their lives? Yeah. Too many. Too many. One too few, actually. What? Alexander, he's alive. <gasps> but tell her you saw him fall with your own eyes. What happened? Keep your calm. Ask where he is now. No, no, no. We are flabbergasted. What happened? Apparently, you didn't hit hard enough. That's okay. He's in the hold below decks. Unconscious, but alive. Say, you'd better get a move on before the Order realizes he's still at large. Ask what they plan to do with Alexander. Hmm. What do you plan to do with that guy? Question here. Someone has been haunting your kind. Hunting. And Alexander fancies himself the only god woken worthy of ascending. As, wait, as far as we know, he may even be the last still alive. If Alexander is guilty, he'll face justice. Say you'd better get a move on before the order realizes he's still at large. Yeah, let's uh, <laughs> let's get the hell out of here, please. Yes. We certainly had better, but the ship won't move. She's mute. We need to free her tongue. Ask if you might take a crack at turning the wheel. Say you've never known a ship to speak in the first place. Mm. I've seen a lot of things in my day. I've talked to many ships. Let's, uh, take a crack at this wheel. You're welcome to try, though I doubt it will help. What Gareth means to say is don't bother. Livewood will only move when it wants to, or in this tub's case, when it's forced to. That's right. The ship's made of an elven anchor tree the spirit of which is still trapped in every plank. What we need is a way to control the bloody thing. Ask if they have any leads on how to gain the control of the ship. How do we control the ship? The Seekers, the survivors of us, have been combing the ship from bow to rudder. It hasn't been easy. This place is laced with dark magic. These seekers have much, have such a limited skill set. We lost a man in the search, Malady. Might not appreciate that, but I do. And I hope you do too. I'm sure the God Woken will be able to get this ship moving. Their kind like to feel useful, don't they? Say you'll do your best, smile and say you'll, you're still waiting to find out what she does other than stand ing around being smug. Say you'll have a look around. You're eager to get free away from Fort Joy. Um, uh, I'll have a look around. That's the spirit. Oh boy. Mattis? Oh, he died too. I, I, I don't know who he is. Mugawai. Okay, good. Anything else? What's this? Wood box. We're gonna go below deck. Just wanna look around just a little bit more. Where's my crew? Who's that? Simone. Oh, I could have picked her. She was one of the people. <gasps> Red Prince! He 
can talk to me now. <laughs> yes, he doesn't hate me anymore. <laughs> yes. The Red Prince. Ah, there you are. High time to stop gallivanting and resume our journey together. What did you say? Yes, yes. <laughs> I missed you. Off we go then. Yay! <laughs> He's back on the turn. Ah, everything feels better now. Gosh, I wonder what the heck was with that bug. He would not talk to us at all. We were on the island. I need to level him up later. My tank is back. Yes. Ooh, four, two, and one. Ah, yeah. Oh, I think I sold some of the good stuff though for him. Oh, this might be really good. One-handed? All right, so he's... I got some good stuff for him. Good, good, good. Let's go below deck. Figure out what to... What to do? Exter. Ah, oh, mysteries. Gotta be honest with you. I'm not so good at mysteries. Oh, I suck. Oh, hey, rat. I don't. Shipwreck. How do you do? Ask the rat if it knows how to steer the ship. Hey, buddy. How do you uh, steer the ship? You creatures with your legs and arms and your opposable thumbs. You always want, want to steer the ship. You need to trust the ship. It knows what it's doing. It dances to the tune. Oh, a clue? Ask the rat the question. To which tune does the ship dance? Tell the rat the ship is Dallas's. It can't be trusted. Oh, that's true. But, uh, what, uh, tune does it dance to? It, oh, it goes la 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 la. Or something like that. It's pretty catchy, but I can't remember how it goes. Good thing Dallas had that book, hey? Ask the rat how Dallas used this book. Ask where the book should be used. Huh. Mm. Where should the book be used? In your hands, as in generally accepted amongst creatures like yourselves. Opposable thumbs, remember? All right, all right. Go to the nose bit of the ship. Open the book. Look at the markings inside. Sing the song. That's it. Get it right. And the ship will dance to your tune. Get it wrong and the ship will kill you. That's always entertaining. For me, anyway. Oh, that's not what I want to hear. Uh, so we need to find a book. A song book. Hmm. Let's check that barrel. Nothing. Right, right. I'm gonna... Ooh, I definitely need to equip my people. My crew. Uh, off camera. Dallas's assistant. Oh. So who is this guy? Where'd he go? There you are. Oh yeah, right, Exter. Right. And who's this guy? Oh, I haven't been missed. With too many times. Hmm, Dallas assistant. Dallas's assistant. They should have an idea where this dancing book, music book is. Whoa, do you have giant red eyes? Oh no, you don't. Oh. Huh. Whoa! Oh, these guys look weird. I like it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll get out of the camera! There you go. Oh, hold on, hold on. Sorry guys, sorry guys, I just... <laughs> I have to practice my thumbnail skills. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There we go. 
All right, now let's talk to. Oh, hey there, lady. Oh, oh, the silent monks. The silent monk leans forward slightly and stares at you, straight in the eyes. She seems eager for you to say something. Um, let's uh, hang out sometime, baby. Oh, ew. The silent monk cocks his right ear toward you, then his left. He appears to be awaiting instructions. And um gross. Should we talk to Exter? Nah. Where did she say the what's this guy? What was his name? Alexander. Where was where did she say he was being held again? Leia. How the heck do I go down? Oh, a chest. I like chests. Oh, nice. Yes. Uh huh. All of it. I'm only gonna talk. Two uh, people I think will help me with this situation. On camera, off camera, I will talk to everybody though. Let's see, go. I think this was the hatch. I think that's what it is. There it is, yep, I was right. Han. Oh, it's the kid that helped us escape the fort. Oh, it's locked. Who's in here? Oh, oh. <gasps> That's so cool. Hey, what happened to my cat? I forgot about that thing. I had a cat on the first episode. Or was it the second episode? There was a cat that did some weird eye stuff. And uh, now it's gone. Sybil, she's the best. Let's make sure to talk to her. Because I definitely need her. I spotted something. <gasps> what do you spot? This? What? Oh. Constance. Oh. We've braved the joy and a lust for further adventure. What say you? Shall we continue our journey together? Tell her you'd love for her to join you. Um, obviously, baby. Yeah. Uh, stop it. Uh, oh, oh, okay. You're not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Sybil in any sort of... Oh, this is the narrator. In your proximity. But at least she's on your side at the moment. And... <gasps> Good. Sybil's back in the crew. Now, where's Loche? Oh, there she is. Constance? Constance? I don't remember you, actually. Let's talk to Loche. Oh, hey! So, Driftwear, I hear we're supposed to meet a, uh, Meister? Was it? Sounds fancy. Tell her you don't know what the next chapter will hold, but you hope she'll join you in finding out. Say it doesn't, it does indeed. If she's in control of herself, you should journey together again. Wish her luck and say it was nice to have met her. I really need a magic wielder, so. Mm. This one. Yeah, I'm. Will you join us, please, please? The old band back together again? Hmm. I guess that depends, doesn't it? D depends on what? Look at me. Hard. What do you see? Oh, hard to look at you. Look at you so hard. Though she leans back slightly thin, slightly. Thin arms cross in front of her chest and stares at you defiantly from dark eye sockets. Darker and deeper set than when you first met. 
she blows back a look of white hair, matted with sweat and grime, and holds back a smile from the corners of her lips. Say you see her, Loche, the same person you traveled with before. Tell her she's looking worse for, for, for the wear. For wear. Hmm. Tell her you see a nice young lady in need of a nice long bath. Hmm. Yeah, you look good, but you're kind of dirty. Serious. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Seriously? Look at me. I look like lukewarm death. This isn't a joke anymore. You see that, don't you? Your god wants me dead. My god, devil, scoff. Who knows? It wants me. It's getting stronger. And I need to outpace it. I want to make sure you understand. Well, the risks. Tell her she isn't at risk to you. She's a companion and a friend. Stay, say you understand them fully. She should still join you. Ask her to explain what exactly she believes the risks are. I'm actually really intrigued to know what will happen if she goes crazy with our crew. I understand. I still want you to join. Yay. Oh, oh, whoa. She hates the Red Prince? Why? He must have been like, uh, I hate you. <laughs> Under his breath. You'll do what you have to do, right? If I fail, if this thing takes control, you'll protect yourself and everyone else against it. Even if it means killing me. Tell her you did it before, and when she turned against the elf Sahelia, remember. Tell her you'll do whatever's necessary. Hesitate. We're not sure you can promise that. Refuse. What lies ahead is a mystery. You can't make a vow you might break. Um, I'm not sure I can promise that. Either you'll do it, or you won't. You have to choose. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This was actually kind of a mistake. I didn't know what that would happen. I'll do what's necessary. Promise? Nod, it's a deal. It's uh, a deal. Well... All right, then. She pinches your cheek, a sparkle in her dim gray eyes. I knew I could count on you to murder me in a pinch. Uh. Let's go, chief. That's uh, pretty dark. I guess we talked to Alexander. Ma Magister Ranley and Bishop Alexander, sleeping. Uh oh Can I? Oh. Magister Ranley. Is this a female or a male? I think it's a later. <laughs> Get away from him, sorcerer. That's the divine. <laughs> Intimidation. Point out that she's alone, unarmed, and there's a ship full of seekers who'd happily throw her overboard. <laughs> she's no problem to be making demands. She's in no position to be, to be making demands. Uh, I'm losing it. Authority. Tell her to back away. You have important matters to attend to. Mm. In this instance, he will intimidate. You're in no position to be making demands! <laughs> Success. Uh, alright. Don't harm him. I'll be watching. Uh, 
I can't get in though. Oh! Bishop Alexander lies prone on a bare wire coat cot. Though unconscious, his eyes are only half closed. His swollen jaw hangs open at an odd angle. Yeah, I punched him so good. Get a good look at his face. Inspect his hands. Look closely at his simple regalia. Hmm. Look at your face. Bruises swell beneath his eyes and a shallow gash zigzags from his right ear down to his beardless cheek. Unconscious, he looks more boy than bishop. Inspect his hands. Someone has wiped the bishop's hands clean and folded them neatly over his abdomen. They rise and fall in shallow, jagged swells. Closely look at his simple regalia. A beautiful six-sided gem rests on the bishop's chest, hung around his neck by an ordinary oiled rope. Oiled rope? Slip the gem from around his neck and place it on your pockets. No, the old man Lazy Bones is no thief. Take my leave. Hmm. Huh. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode off here, guys and gals. This is uh, very interesting. It looks like I'm going to have to solve some sort of mystery of how to get this boat to move or ship. But hey, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm Lazy Bones. This is Divinity Original Sin 2. And take care of yourselves. And many good ones. See you on the next one. All these words. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.